Hi, this is Julia Waldorf with JuliaWaldorf.com, and I have Kim Jeffers here with Equity Reach Mortgage Solutions, and she's going to tell us about the modification, kind of like what the banks are looking for, guidelines. <laughs> Go ahead, Kim. Well, I think what you're interested in knowing about is loan modifications, and loan modifications are people that qualify. Um, and the basic formula, based upon my experience from 2009 and early 2010, you know, I've not been involved in this, you know, since 2010. Okay. But my basic experience, the basic guideline is 31% of your gross income for principal and interest, taxes and insurance. That's what the lenders are looking for. And if you will qualify for a loan modification if you're within that 31% for the full payment. If a 30-year fixed um, is, if the payment is too high based on a 30-year fixed, lenders will go to 40 years. And so that is helping people stay in their homes, you know, with a start rate of 2%, you know, on the loan modifications. Um, they don't factor in a second. They don't factor in other debt. It is simply your housing expense. And, you know, the guidelines have may, uh, may have changed, may have gotten a little stricter. You know, there may be a variance with some investors of 5%. Maybe they'll go to 32%. Um, but I guess that would depend on the strength of your income, your job history, um, that kind of thing. Okay, but basically 31% of your gross income, the lot towards your payment and, mo and modify it down to that in, if, it were, if it works for you in your scenario. Right. And so it's so. a simple calculation that you can figure out for yourself. Yeah. And show that on your hardship letter of what will work and don't make it um, less or more than 31%. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Kim. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Bye.